Hello guys, in this video I will show equipment skills which are the most effective against bosses and the best for 8 minute chapters. As an example, I will pass the last 8 minute chapter we have by now, chapter 52, with less than 8000 attack. Ok guys, I will start with equipment and the first is weapon. The most effective weapon when you want to pass such chapters with minimum attack is kunai. You don't need to aim at enemies and when you will evolve to shuriken, you will continuously throw them. We also have a revolver, which is doing the highest damage, but you have to aim at enemies and it's kinda hard, so I recommend kunai. If you have eternal necklace, use it, because it has powerful skills and gives the highest attack between necklaces. I have it excellent Kate, but I'm not using it, because my metal negative is epic plus 1 and as you understand epic plus 1 is better than excellent plus 2. And I recommend metal negard, not trendy charm, because the first and the last passive effect will be increased on 30%. For example, if you have power bullet as the first skill and energy cube as the last, then power bullet 5 stars will increase your attack on 65% and energy cube 5 stars will reduce cooldown time on 52%. Trendy Charm can reduce cooldown time with energy cube on 70%, but for this you have to kill 3000 enemies, and it's very hard when you're trying to pass a chapter with low attack. For example, in this run, when I was fighting with the final boss, I killed 2235 enemies, which in total with energy cube 5 stars would reduce cooldown time on 52%. As you remember, Metal Negard with Energy Cube 5 stars reduce the same amount, plus Metal Negard will boost another supply skill effect. That's why Metal Negard is the best choice after Internal Necklace for such chapters. But remember, you should have the first and the last supply skills, not Fitness Guide or Oil Boon. Choose useful skills that will increase your attack or speed. The same situation we have with Glows. If you don't have Eternal Glows, you probably use Fingerless Glows. But for such chapters, army glows will be more effective as you have problems with bosses. Suit, of course eternal, all of you must have it. Stylish belt is good of course, but epic army belt is something. Stylish belt is good when you have many enemies, so you can easily get that shield back when an enemy hits you, but not in this case, when you cannot kill many enemies. After you will kill a boss or mini boss, you will get a shockwave shield. Epic skill will increase your speed, damage on 100% and all cooldown type reductions will be maximized. Perfectly, after you will kill a mini boss, you have to survive a minute without receiving any damage. And just look at this. To avoid bosses projectiles, you need a good speed. So eternal boots are the best choice. If you don't have them yet, I recommend army boots or prosthetic legs. Epic army boots are better than epic prosthetic legs, but after killing a boss or mini boss, you shouldn't receive any damage, because they will become worse. Ok guys, now you know which equipments will really help you to beat 8 minute chapters. Now, I will tell you which skills will be the most effective when you have minimum attack. You will need to evolve only 3 weapon skills, it will be enough. Other weapon skills are not that important and you will be able to pass 8 minute chapters without evolving them. Of course, it will be good addition and help you more, but as you cannot upgrade all supply skills and evolve all weapon skills, it is better to focus only on 3 weapon skills and supply skills. Those weapon skills are Shuriken, Quantables and Guardian. Quantable is the most powerful skill against mobs and bosses, so always try to make it. Kunai, with no doubt, is a top weapon against bosses, so you know why you need to make Shuriken. And Guardian will protect you from mobs, or better to say Defender, because it pushes enemies a little back. So Defender, in combination with Quantables, will definitely help you to survive waves of zombies. Besides those supply skills that you need to evolve Kunai, Soccer Ball and Defender, choose Power Bullet, Ammo Thruster and Energy Cube. In case if you won't get one of them, choose Fuel. In this run, I wasn't lucky with energy cube, so I chose fuel instead of it. So guys, here is one of the most effective setup against bosses. If you don't have some of these equipments, watch from the beginning this video. To pass 8 minute chapters with minimum attack, you need only 3 weapon skills. Shuriken, Quantables and Defender. Try to make them as fast as you can. From supply skills, focus on power bullet, energy cube and ammo thruster. If you want to have one of them, Choose fuel. Don't forget to like this video, 
subscribe my channel and you can also help me to make more useful videos for you by supporting my channel. How to support my channel you'll find in description.